Levels of Organization of Body Structure and Function How are body parts organized and how do they work so well together? In order to understand the human body and anatomy, it's good to break things down into levels. In this video, we're going to look at the seven levels of organization of body structure and function. The first level is the chemical level, and it starts with atoms, which make up every material thing in the universe, including our bodies. Atoms can bond together to form molecules, which are larger chemical groupings, and molecules can combine with other molecules and more atoms to form macromolecules. The next level of organization in the body is the organelle level. Organelles are made up of chemical groupings, and they are tiny organ-like things that are in cells. Organelles have specific functions in cells, and they cannot live outside of cells. And without organelles, cells cannot survive. The cellular level is next. Cells are the smallest unit in the body that shows the basic characteristics of life. It's estimated that the body has around 100 trillion cells, and each cell is made up of a membrane, a nucleus, and a cytoplasm that houses the organelles that are required for the cell to function properly. There are many different types of cells in the body that perform different functions in the body. The next level is the tissue level. Tissue is a group of similar cells that have developed from the same part of the embryo and all perform a certain function. Tissue cells are surrounded by the matrix or non-living intracellular substances. There are four major types of tissue in the body. Connective tissue, muscle tissue, nervous tissue, and epithelial tissue. Next up is the organ level. Organs are made up of different kinds of tissues that together can perform different functions in the body. For example, the liver, which is an organ located in the abdominal region of the body, stores some vitamins and minerals, stores glycogen, which is a stored form of energy, helps to destroy old red blood cells, and helps to detoxify the blood to get rid of harmful substances. The next level of organization in the body is the system level. Systems are comprised of organs that by working together can perform more complex types of functions in the body. There are 11 major systems in the body. Many times systems work together to accomplish different needs of the body, such as the respiratory system takes oxygen in and the cardiovascular system transports the oxygen to various parts of the body. The organism level is the last level. The overall human organism is made up of all the previous levels we just covered. And that be the levels of organization of body structure and function.